Hey guys, it's Friday and it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I've been up for around two hours now and I haven't managed to do much. I just um, drank my coffee. I did watch Tori's new video. If you don't know, um, then Tori from Juicy Inc. has a new channel now and she um, uploaded her very first video on her new channel yesterday. But it was so late already that I didn't manage to see it. And yeah, that's the first thing that I did this morning. So go and check out her new channel if you haven't yet. And um, I wanted to try something different with this video. There's a bunch of stuff that I would like to do. And um, I don't think that I'd be happy about taking a big chunk out of the day to sit down and film me draw something specifically for YouTube videos. I think that's something that I really need to um, stop doing in general uh, and not trying to come up with something to draw just because I want to make a YouTube video but instead draw something and make a YouTube video about that. I feel like I'm in a um, kind of self-discovery journey when it comes to my art. Um, I've been thinking a lot about this ever since I uh, finished my sketchbook and I already talked about this during my sketchbook tour that I would like to change up my art. I would like to focus more on, on my line art and think about the stuff um, made me think also about the strange rules that I have set up for myself and um, why my art looks like it looks now. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff. Okay, so yesterday I drew this and this was all made with um, colored ink and colored pencils because I'm still looking for a way to um, make... Also, do you notice her freakishly long arm? Yeah, I, I didn't notice how super long it was. I think this um, binding kind of, I don't know, maybe confused me a bit but I edited her arm a bit shorter when I scanned this yesterday and uh, cleaned it up a bit to post it on Instagram. I've been trying different things to find a better way for me to um, approach coloring because I'm, I'm... it's always the color part that messes me up because I tend to hide my lines and I like my line work. Um, I think this was a good approach. I've been spending the last two days trying out a bunch of stuff and nothing nothing really worked for me until I did this. And the way I did this is to um, make the pencil sketch and then using um, my inks but really really watered down because I also noticed that... Wait, let me show you. Oh, I'm so sorry guys. I hit you. So... I did this and I inked this um, with a um, dark ink, but I really didn't like the stiffness of the lines and Part of the reason might be that I'm just uh, a lot stiffer with ink, with lining um, because I felt like during Inktober I really kind of loosened up and now I'm really stiff again so um, I didn't like the harshness and the stiffness of the black lines that's why I used really watered down colored ink for the lines to um, kind of preserve the softness I had with my pencil sketch and I think this really worked out for me. Um, so that's something that I want to continue exploring and also just practice lining more. Um, oh and yeah, I do have two sketchbooks now. This is gonna be my uh, kind of junk sketchbook and just like morning doodles when I warm up and this is a another failed attempt of finding a new way how to approach lines. I mean on camera this doesn't look too bad, the colors are kind of cute 
and I really do like the graphic leaves but the thing is that I started using acrylic gouache for the face because I messed up a couple of the lines so I thought oh it's okay I'm gonna correct it with acrylic gouache and I did I did correct them but after maybe three hours I snapped out of my acrylic gouache trance tron Jesus that's a difficult word and I realized that I completely changed the features of her face again I mean I did try to pull back and, and make the changes to go back to what I originally had with the line work but yeah I was just so frustrated I kind of gave up on this but this is still a sketch that I really like um, I'm gonna try to approach it again so yeah this is just my um, junk sketchbook this is where I'm gonna do a lot of doodling a lot of trying out materials and when I have some um, loose papers that I'm working on they are, all, they are also gonna go um, into this one and I still had a um, Moleskine sketchbook a Moleskine Art Plus that's the one that I also used um, for my last sketchbook the one that I finished and I had this small guy still here and yeah I I just really like the I just really like the paper you know the way that the colors look on it with this very I mean it's not even a texture but the colors turn really grainy and I like how the colors look in the sketchbook whether it's ink or watercolor so I'm gonna do this for um, I guess when I want to attempt and do more um, finished stuff more finalized stuff more detailed stuff you know when I really want to put some effort into it because I just like the I just like how it looks I just like the paper so this is gonna be I guess my ego sketchbook where hopefully every page or every second page because yeah it does bulge and rob and it's something that I mentioned in my last um, sketchbook that I'm just not too eager to draw something on this side you know when I used a lot of art a lot of water on the other side another thing about this self-discovery stuff so I watched a video yesterday by um, Josh, wait, I need to uh, look how this full channel name is Ergo Josh. Yeah, it's Ergo Josh. So I'm gonna put the link um, of the videos that I'm talking about down in the description. And he basically made a video or two videos about. Um, how we might want to look for different references and why taking these super pretty but very boring um, references from Pinterest isn't you know that great or that challenging he really made me think and I'm really glad that he found the time to make these videos next to his um, flourishing Pinterest model career <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's um, what I've been trying to do. So this is the reference for this one. And I know it doesn't really look like it. I still need to work on the head. It's just way too tall. And I would also like to um, maybe re-explore my roots a bit. Because I did mention in... in did I mention it? I don't know if I left it in the video or not, but I started out drawing um, anime and manga and sometimes it still comes true. I think a lot of times it comes true, but um, I, for some reason, stay away from topics or motives that are very manga-y. I don't know why. I used to draw a lot of, you know, Cat girls and stuff and I kind of stopped doing that I think it's another set of these weird rules that I have set up for myself that's pretty much all 
I have to say I'm sorry I've been so blah, 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 blah. just gonna keep drawing now I think this is all that this video is gonna be just me sitting at my desk and doing stuff and every now and then pointing the camera on it um, so yeah I hope you still enjoy it and uh, I hope I'm gonna get a lot of things done with you yeah, and now I need to drink my coffee because it's probably already cold after talking for so long. Okay, so for some reason I'm having major commitment issues with the lines for this one. Um, I started to use a bit of ink just so I can stop myself from constantly erasing stuff. Now I feel like I'm just playing around with this, not making real progress, but it's been a while since I did um, something this cutesy and um, I wanted to try and make it a lot more manga-esque. Is, is that even a word? Manga-esque? But you know what I mean. I want to make it a bit more cutesy manga than my usual stuff. Um, and it's <clears throat> sorry. And it's a lot more difficult to get back into that than I thought. But I don't think um, I'm gonna start anything big now because I'm gonna go out. Um, at noon and eat something just don't feel like starting anything major before I have to head out anyways so I think I'm gonna have to go in with the ink for um, the rest of her body to stop me from um, changing more things because the whole um, idea of, of doing this, this drawing was just that I wanted to do some pink line art mm, I think uh, Audra or Claire does this a lot I think they were pink, I'm not quite sure and there are probably lots of other people who do sketches in pink and I have these um, colored inks, right? And I did one of the sketches, my old sketchbook, with this color. And the pink is so... Well, I mean, it's, it's magenta, it's not really pink, but you know what I mean. It's kind of pinky, sketchy look. Something that I wanted to do more, so that were that was pretty much the whole idea and I have been fucking around with this for so long so I want to finish this up before I um, go out to eat so I can do something else when I come back Oh, and before anybody asks in the comments, I don't know um, where I got this, um, this um, um, nib from. Um, there is writing on it and it says general, but I'm pretty sure that I just got this from, um, from some art supply shop and I never really used it because this it is extremely pointy and the first time that I used it I pretty much just scratched the paper more than anything. I'm slowly getting into using it without 
shredding any holes or rips into my paper. Oh yeah, it's super pointy. And I um, I don't know where the um, holder is for this thing. I have one, but the size is too big. I need a smaller one and I don't know where it is. I probably have to buy a new one. So this used to be one of my um, masking fluid brushes. So um, I just uh, cut off the brush part of it and taped it to this holder because I really like the I really like the, the shape of this. I think it fits quite well. So I actually might not even get a um, a holder for this thing and just glue it to this uh, brush or just leave it taped because it's, it's very comfortable to use. Hey guys, so I am back and um, it is almost it is almost 8 already. Um, right, so the last thing I think I showed you was me doing this sketch. So as you can see, I kinda finished it. Um, you ran out of juice, I mean not really you, but the camera ran out of juice. And I had to hurry up. So, um, I mean, I'm, I don't hate it. I just don't understand why I was so fixated on making something out of it, even though it's just a sketch. I mean, sure, I wanted to finish this sketch um, until I was happy, but maybe it's because I pointed the camera at it and told you guys this is what I'm working on. And I still have this mindset, you know, when I show you guys something and this is what I'm drawing right now, then I need to finish it. Okay, so I want to draw a girl eating a burger because I don't know, why not? And here are my references. So this is what I'm thinking right now. So this is kind of my main reference, right? So I like this hand and I like the angle her head is in. Um, and then I'm also looking at this photo because you now she's actually biting it. So I can see her lips and uh, her eyes. And with this one, I like this hand, the way this hand is holding the burger. So yeah, that's kind of how I... Yeah, this one is not really that interesting. But yeah, this is how I use references. Just pick different elements from different um, photos and then mash them up together into this. It doesn't always work this easy. It was kind of a um, happy coincidence that all of these photos kind of were what I was looking for. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna continue. Oh, and one thing I completely forgot to mention is, but uh, you know when Patreon made these changes, um, they increased their cut and a lot of artists that were on Patreon um, were saying that you should make a Patreon page now so we get a better deal. Um, even if you don't use it, even if you don't know if you want to use it in the future, just do it now. So I did and was just sitting around there and I set up a $1 tier just to see how that's working and yeah it's been just sitting around there and I didn't really know if I want to do Patreon. I woke up I think yesterday and I got a, a no notification from uh, Patreon that you know congratulations you have a Patreon and I was like what? Who walked onto my page saw this inactive abandoned mess and thought yes I'm 
gonna support this. Well, Jillian did. So I named my one and only tier after Jillian because they are the whole tier. <laughs> Which I think is pretty funny. So if you're watching this, Jillian, thank you so much. You are my most important patron right now. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, this is part ink, part colored pencil. And I don't really feel like outlining anymore. I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of the evening um, scanning my sketchbook. And what well, I've already done in the new one. Now just to already start on it. So uh, yeah making a new habit of scanning my stuff so it's not gonna be so much work at uh, the end of every month and um, I'm pretty excited about Patreon I am really curious about how it's gonna work out for me and um, how quickly I will get the hang of things so I can start thinking about um, other tiers you know maybe some physical one but right now I just want to keep it to solely digital mm, just so I can first um, get a bit of a routine going so I definitely know that I can manage everything at the end of the month and uh, yeah then I can slowly start to incorporate more things and more tears and that's the plan okay i'm gonna stop doing now
Hey guys, so uh, real quick because my battery is dying. Um, I said that this portrait, this um, video, turned out to be a lot about references, which I didn't expect. But I think Josh's video really made me um, think a lot about that. Uh, because I don't really actively think about references and how I use it and why I use them. So his video definitely made me think um, a bit more actively about this. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of thoughts about it, so I wanted to share it. Um, and yeah, I um, I didn't have, and I still don't have a lot of time. It is uh, almost 5 in the afternoon and a friend of mine is gonna come over this evening and we're gonna go out and have a bit of a sip, which I'm really happy about. I think the last time I was out was uh, New Year's. So um, yeah, I'm really happy that she's coming over and um, I'm gonna probably stop drawing in about an hour and have some me time and I do apologize for my horrendous nails in this video. I, <laughs> I usually try to make them look not as horrible before I start filming but yeah these um, this video is uh, it's it's a bit different from what I usually do. Um, it's also pretty difficult for me to try and keep in mind what I have been talking about the last time I talked to you. Uh, I, uh, so yeah. Um, so I started a quick portrait in Procreate because I haven't done that in a while and uh, it was really fun. So I did film, um, I think the part where I sketched this out. So I used this reference. And this kinda, this was again just a, a fortunate um, collection of um, references in in close uh, in close distance to each other, so I can see all of them at once. And um, yeah, I just pick and choose little things from different references. I also really like this coat pattern, so maybe I will put in a bit of this peachy color into this because there's this green and um, there's this yellowy ochre. So um, these colors look really nice together, so I might do that too. And yeah, um, I really enjoyed this and also I tried something new. So I scanned a page of my Moleskine sketchbook because um, yeah, it, was, it has a nice texture, just wanted to try it out. Hey guys, so here we are again. I'm sorry you got cut off, but the battery died on me. Um, so as you can see, I started to include um, more pinky tones. I mean, this is a bit more peachy than what I did, but I think it still looks pretty cute. Um, so yeah, I started to just put in a bit of color to the headscarf. Wait, I, I need to think now what I said last time when the camera was on. All right, so we got cut off when I was showing you guys that I have scanned my colored inks um, because I'm still trying to find a way to um, make my digital art look a bit more traditional and um, I mean this is pretty clearly still digital art I, I'm not gonna fool anybody with this but I like the texture I really like these um, thick lines of black, that's something I always um, really enjoyed in my digital art. And um, I made a color palette out of the inks that I have scanned and I'm trying to just use what I have here. So um, I was thinking that maybe this is gonna help me to not overdo it because I tend to mess up the color a lot and then I haven't done any portraits in Procreate for quite a bit and I'm really happy how this 
turned out. Um, I didn't overdo the face, it is just enough to... Um, it's just enough where I feel like, yeah, this is kind of rendered, but this is still kind of sketchy. This is just a look that I always try to achieve. And I really like the palette, so I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot more to it. I'm maybe going to do a bit of more pinky shapes here in the background. I need to really hurry up because my friend is going to be here and then I still look like shit. Um, I just had a shower and I need to start getting ready soon and just tidy up my desk because we're gonna be hanging out in the living room in the living room so I don't want to uh, I don't want it to look like <laughs> like it does now okay and um, is there anything else I wanted to say no I think that's pretty much it I'm just gonna quickly um, do still want to leave a big chunk of green here so I don't want to overdo it. I like the color combination that is going on here. Usually when I'm having one of these uh, days where I know that I'm gonna be um, doing something in the evening when I'm gonna meet with a friend or when I'm just gonna go out then I find it really difficult to even start drawing because uh, I don't know my head is kind of already in the evening, because I don't really go out that often. Um, so yeah, I always get really excited and pumped up. But I still always um, force myself to draw, because I think it's stupid just because you have plans for the evening that you're not gonna um, even pick up the pencil to do a quick Doodle. Or at least I feel stupid when I don't do it. Like, I'm not saying that um, everybody who doesn't is stupid. It just feels like I'm making excuses not to draw. And most of the time, nothing comes out because my head really isn't there. Um, but sometimes, like now, I start something and I start experimenting and I enjoy where it is, where it is heading and then I need to rush to um, get it done. I still have quite a bit of time but I need to do my nails, I need to go through the whole process of uh, Oh my god, I have nothing to wear! And start pulling shit out of my drawers and from my clothing rack. Put on 10 different outfits just to decide to wear the first outfit that I had on, which in most cases is just the most comfortable one. <laughs> um. So we're gonna go to um, uh, the bar we always go to when we go out. Um, it's just right around the corner and they are celebrating their anniversary today. Their 8 year anniversary. So it's probably gonna be a whole lot going on which is either really good or is not so great. Um, and going to the bar really means just standing in front of the bar. Um, it's been raining all day. It's 
probably not gonna stop anytime soon so gonna spend a big chunk of the evening and the night in the cold and rain which I'm not really looking forward to but right now I'm just really happy to leave my desk for a bit and uh, all I wanted to do today was actually just to scan my sketchbook and then already start editing the video so everything I have filmed to this point um, just to be on the safe side depending on how fun it's gonna be tonight um, I might be not really in the mood to edit tomorrow so I wanted to give myself a head start so um, I could just edit um, the last bit of the video and upload it tomorrow but then I started drawing this so uh, yeah my editing plans kinda had to take a back seat so I hope that it's gonna be fun but I also hope that it's not gonna be super long tonight but I doubt it like partying through the night is kinda over for me always happy when we're um, back home at around 2 which is a good time for me I think um, there, were, there were rarely nights where anything fun happened after 2 in the night most of the time people get just really hammered and then somebody will start a fight or somebody will start crying and yeah then the party is pretty much over for me because I am usually really happy and upbeat when I had a sip so I don't really care for all of the other drama, I just want to have a nice chat, laugh a bit, maybe meet some new people to talk to and that's pretty much it. solid car in the background and then call it done because even though this is fun like I know myself and I know that um, I'm not gonna be interested in working on this tomorrow or on Monday so I just want to get to a point where I say yeah I had fun with this and now I am done with this just don't want to have it laying around and feeling bad about never having finished this but also don't feeling like finishing this because especially with digital art I find it really difficult to um, 
get into the same workflow and getting the texture right like I have to do this in one go otherwise I'm it's, it's always gonna look a bit different and also I don't want to overdo it and um, I render it to hell. Okay guys, so I am done now and um, yeah, this is it. What I would like to do is because if you look at these, they are so grainy and I would like to also do this to... Uh, I'd like to kids outside, I'm really sorry about it. Do this to her too. But first I want to um, make some color adjustments in Photoshop because I can really do this in Procreate that well. Oh you know what? Like I think this line needs to be yes, right layer. This line needs to be any bit thicker. I like them thick lines. Okay. Yeah, this will do. So I will So I will quickly export this. Do some color adjustments in Photoshop. Okay. So this is it. I really need to. No, you know what? I need to I need to stop correcting this. Yeah, I really need to start getting ready. Because I still look like shit. Okay. This is done now and I need to go. See you maybe tomorrow, maybe in a bit. Uh, that was a uh, abrupt ending. Sorry about that. <laughs> I really had to get going. And it is Monday now and I just finished editing the video. Or at least um, finish editing the first draft. Still need to go over it and uh, trim the fat because it's a whole lot longer than I planned it to be. Um, I didn't realize while I was filming that I was filming so much and I um, already kicked out big chunks of what I had filmed. Otherwise this video would be about an hour long and nobody has time for that. So I did end up staying uh, out a whole lot longer than I wanted to, which, you know, in my defense, I still wanted to stick to my plan, you know, with the Leave the Party at 2, because nothing good happens after that. Other people weren't so convinced by it. Um, so yeah, I spent pretty much all Sunday sleeping. <laughs> Um, please let me know if you enjoyed these long formats, draw with me, just me, you know, casually talking about stuff while drawing. Um, I, it was weird to do it and um, it felt weird to uh, make a video like on and off during the day. Um, but I feel like eventually I really got into it and it um, felt like it was a bit less pressure than doing a, a video the way I did before. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy this, please let me know, then I will definitely do these more often. I will put the link to my Patreon down in the description. If you're interested in supporting me or this channel, you know, it would be cool if you would take a look. But I also have to say that there isn't anything on there yet besides this, this $1 pretty much tip tier. Um, I will upload my sketchbook this week. And I will upload the stuff that is already in my new sketchbook at the end of the month. So thanks for watching. If you made it till this point, then uh, thank you. So yeah, um, please like and subscribe and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.